You've got a tune to KEXP listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters down in the KEXP studios with Krungbin. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you look amazing, and we absolutely love the new album, Con Todo El Mundo. And you're going to start us off with a couple songs from that one? Yes. It's Krungbin live on KEXP. been live in the KEXP studios playing tonight at Numo's, a new album Con Todo El Mundo.
Krungbin live here in the KEXP studios, sounding amazing. Thank you so much for coming by today. Thank you. We're Thank so you. happy to be here. We've had a lot of excitement from our listeners leading up to the in-studio session, um, knowing that you are coming. So many people have had a chance to see you and have fallen in love with you. And you've toured quite a bit over the last few years. You spend a lot of time on the road, it sounds like. Yeah, nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> you all say that with smiles on your faces. You incorporate so many different styles of music from so many co different countries and eras. Have you had a chance to travel to a lot of the places whose music has influenced you? We got lucky at the end of last year. We played a couple of festivals, um, one in Thailand, one in India. So we got to kind of go around and go record shopping and reconnect. Tell me how this group came together. Um, you know, how long have you known each other and how long has this, or, or have you played, you've played together in other groups as well. Can you give me just a little background? Yeah. 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 Um, so I met DJ uh, when we both played at church in Houston, Texas in around 2004, 2005, something like that. Uh, we played there for like 10 years or so. Um, I met Laura Lee through a mutual friend of mine and she came by the house one day and I was watching this documentary and she was studying Near Eastern art. And uh, so we connected on that and then she started crashing me in DJ's post-rehearsal burger sessions <laughs> at Rudyard's in Houston, Texas and uh, she never left. So we hung out together and had you know a meal pretty much every week for maybe two, three years before we ever actually started playing uh, in a band together. Wow, that, and actually there's a very sweet story that, if it's true, you can't believe everything you read, but how the title of your last album came about. Um, oh, The Universe Miles Apart. Yeah, can you tell yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> um, when I met Mark that day, he was watching a documentary on Afghani music, um, and I just blew my mind that anybody was watching something that was so similar to what I was interested in at the time. Um, and he gave me a book and that was sort of the only thing I had of his. And I found him on MySpace and sent him my number and was like, let's hang out. And I got a text from him weeks later, um, well, from an unknown number. And, and the, the text just read, the universe smiles upon you. So that's that. It's and become like the mantra of our band. And I don't know if this is the story growing bigger into mythology, but in the article I read, it said that he didn't sign it, but you knew that it was him. Oh, yeah. I knew, exa I knew exactly <laughs> who it was. <laughs> it's like kismet. It was meant to be. Well, how did the music start coming together then with the three of you? Uh, Mark and Laura started going down to the barn and just kind of jamming. And um, one Tuesday night at our, you know, burger hang, they were like, hey, uh, we're going to start a band. You want to play drums? And I was like, yeah, I hadn't played drums in a while. That's cool. So um, we linked up, and I started going down to the barn with them and practicing, and then we eventually ended up recording. Now, DJ, I know that you're a producer of hip-hop, and obviously I've been reading up on you guys in an article. Mm -hmm. You said if it's a hip-hop band in Houston, I've worked with them. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so uh, you put your fingers in a lot of things. Um, do you, with all this touring, do you still find time to work on other projects and work with other local musicians? I do. Uh, it's a lot of uh, remote stuff from laptops when I'm on the road and on the bus, but it gets done. Yeah. Sounds like you're very, very busy. Um, it sounds like, uh, Mark, that you were playing drums at first and uh, then you... <laughs> I was. <laughs> and I wanted to play drums. I never get to play drums. That was the instrument I always wanted to play when I was a kid, and but did I couldn't afford it. And did Laura talk you into playing the guitar? <laughs> she did. I mean, who else is going to play guitar like Mark? <laughs> it, is, it is a wonderful sound in the band. I mean, you're mostly instrumental. You do have some vocals in your songs, but I feel like your guitar is the vocalist. <laughs> um, yeah. If there's a name for the guitar, then you can list that as vocalist on your albums because you have a very beautiful lyrical style. Thank you. Um, how does that evolve for this band and the project that you all are, you know, the music you want to make together? Uh, I think it was a matter of like economy of uh, um, musicians. We only had three people. Didn't want to do any overdubs. So you can either play chords or you can play, you know, a melody. And since her bass lines are super melodic, um, basically it starts off with her and drums. And then I kind of just come in and ornament the, I guess, the chord progression that's being outlined by what she plays. And so I just play a, mel a melody against that. And if I can work in a couple chords here and there, I will. But for the most part, it's just playing a melody against it. 
It sounds incredible. And again, love the album. Con Todo El Mundo is the latest release from Krung Ben. And you stay very, very busy. I know you have a weekly uh, online radio show. Can you talk a little bit about that and uh, the format that takes and how you find all that wonderful music? Yeah, we, we haven't done it in, in a little while just because tour has been keeping us so busy. But um, when we can, we try to do on Fridays an hour of, um, it's called Air Krung. Um, and it's our DJ set where Mark and I use Facebook Live as a means to sort of hang out with everyone and listen to records we like. And we're buying records everywhere. <laughs> I mean, while we haven't been doing the, the DJ show, we've been collecting for um, a monster DJ show at some point. Yeah. Um, every city we go in, if we can pick up records, we do. And each week we try to focus on a country or a city and play music from that location. So they're like air crung flight to Istanbul, and yeah. we'll feature music from there. Well, it's an incredible resource for discovery, and uh, if you've been building up all that new music, I can't wait to hear the next <laughs> edition. Thank you. Krungbin's live here in the KEXP studios. Tonight they're playing at Numos here in Seattle, and uh, a couple more songs? Yeah. yeah.
Grungvin live here in the KEXP studios. Con Todo El Mundo is the latest album. Is this next song about your tour manager, Evan? Is it? Secrets out. <laughs> If you'd like to say hello, press one. Hello, hello. Press two. Jump in the water. If you'd like to know if I'm all right, press three. Say, you're all right. This is the third one. Yes. Yes. This is the third room.
That is Evan Finds the Third Room on the new album Con Todo El Mundo from Krung Bin. That sounded fantastic. Thank I you. meant to ask you, the first song you started, Maria Tambien, I absolutely love that song and such a great video. Can you tell me a little bit about that song in the video? Um, yeah. Um, they're kind of unrelated. It was a separate journey for the video, but um, the director for it, uh, Sanam, she's Persian. She wanted to sort of show clips of old Iran um, and sort of women in color dancing um, and sort of show that. And I was sort of hunting down actresses um, from that time and was going to all of their IMDb pages um, and realized how full their career were, careers were um, until 1979 when they all sort of disappeared. So the, the video is a sort of nod to that feeling. It's very powerful. Thank you. Thank you again so much for coming in, playing tonight at Numo's. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. This is Krung Bin. You're listening to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at kexp.org.